It's a question of CAT 2024 slot 1. Fine, let's see what's given here. If x is a positive real number such that the sum of these three logs is given equal to 30. So I know the equation in terms of log here, then the greatest integer not exceeding x. Okay, so I'm looking for the maximum value of x here. Now let's look at all the logs here 4 log x to the base 10, 4 log x to the base 100, 8 log x to the base 1000. So if you look at all the three logs here, the bases are different. Let's try to make them same. How do we write it? 4 times of log of x to the base 10. The other one, 4 times of log of x, this 100 can be written as 10 square. The third one is 8 log x, 1000 can be written as 10 cube. This is given equal to 13. If you try to rewrite this equation using that property where the powers will come out, this is 10. Here the power is 2, here the power is 1. So this will be multiplied 1 by 2 into 4 log of x to the base 10 here. The next one, this is 3, this is 1. So I'll say 1 by 3 into 8 log of x to the base 10. Now look at all the three logs. Their bases have become same. So I can apply that property log m plus log n plus log p. 4 goes here. What do you get? Log of x to the power 4 to the base 10. Next one will become log of x. This 4 into half becomes 2. So actually this becomes x squared to the base 10. This 8 by 3 goes to the power of x. You get log of x to the power 8 by 3 to the base 10. This is equal to 13. Now look at all the three terms. Their bases are same, so I can add them. So what do you get here? Log of x to the power 4 into x to the power 2 into x to the power 8 by 3. To the base 10 is equal to how much? 13. Yes, I mean. Now, what do you get here? x to the power 4 plus 2 plus 8 plus 3. When you take the LCM, you get 3 here. This is 12 plus 6. That is 18. 18 plus 8 gives you 26. So, actually, this is log of x to the power 26 by 30, by 3. And what's the base here? The base is 10. And this is given equal to 30. Now, how do we write it? When you try to convert this exponential form, you get x to the power 26 by 3 is equal to 10 to the power 30. Now, let's try to convert this in terms of 13 here. Can we write it like this? x to the power 2 by 3 raised to the power 13. Effectively, it becomes 26 by 3. is given equal to 10 to the power 13. So, this 13, 13 will be cancelled out. It will be left with what? x to the power 2 by 3 is equal to 10 or what else when 2 by 3 goes on that side the, when the power goes on that side it becomes reciprocal so you get x is equal to 10 to the power 3 by 2 now how do we calculate 3 by 2 power of 10 it's very difficult but can we write it like this 10 to the power 3 raised to the power 1 by 2 now we know that 10 to the power 3 means 1000 so effectively you're looking for what half raised to the power 1000 raised to the power half and 1000 raised to the power half means square root of 1000. Yes or no? This is the value of x. Now what he's asking, x is a positive real number, then the greatest integer not exceeding x. Now can we say x is equal to 1000 to the power 1 by 2, square root of 1000. We know that 961 is the square of 31. Yes or no? And you're looking for what? So the square root of 961 becomes how much? 31. So, in that case, the square root of 1000 will exceed this 31. It should be 31 point something. So, can we say this x would be equal to 31 point something? Now, what you are asking? What he is asking? Then the greatest integer not exceeding x. So, the integer not exceeding 31.1, greatest one will be how much? 31 point something. The integer less than this would be 31. So, my answer will become 31 here. Yes or no?